Morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Here we are day eight. Day eight of our state mandated closure here in Washington state. And we're in a little bit of a limbo. I don't know. That's how I feel in terms of a business and just a family here in Washington is we're kind of in like this gray area of we don't really know what's going to happen. They said we're going to close to the for the through the end of the month. Um, and that's about a week away and, but we haven't gone to, um, the curfew or staying at home or any of the mandate to do that. And so kind of in this limbo. So that's strange, but Hey, you got to roll with it. Uh, never miss a Monday. That's always our, um, focus here on Monday. I know for us, we've scheduled out all of our classes for the week. So that way our members can hopefully, sorry, my nose itches, hopefully uh, plan out their week a little bit better. I know everybody in last week, first week, everybody was having a hard time kind of figuring out the schedule with working uh, from home, having the family at home, schedule, uncertainty, all that stuff. Um, and so hopefully this week you guys can all get into a little bit of a routine, right? We don't want to lock it in like hardcore and have 12 hours of, of meetings and schedule time if we don't have to, right? It's nice to have some flexibility, but being able to carve out that time for your fitness is super important. Remember, we're shooting for 30 minutes. Hey, our 30 minute at home workout, five days a week, and you would be golden. Um, on top of that, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I just thought of on my way here is that um, we're talking about supporting local businesses, and I know our focus has been on, you know, our our youth activities are, are, you know, monthly kind of dues and memberships and then also restaurants. Um, I want you guys to think about also, I know it's super convenient to order from Amazon. We love Amazon, right? I love Amazon. I get orders all the time. But if you can buy some of those items from a local distributor or local business, it helps a lot. You know, even with the grocery stores and the big box retailers like Costco and Target, which who are probably gonna end up doing really, really well through this time, at least for the near future, at least for the next couple weeks, um, even purchasing locally from them helps support uh, jobs, local jobs, right? keeps people employed and that's really, really important. And so even for us, as I look around, right, we have protein, we have um, drinks available and those I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get those out. And so I know a lot of our members are doing their workouts and rather than purchasing those things online or through Amazon, I would love for them to kind of deplete our stock and purchase them from us. And so I was thinking that there's probably a lot of other businesses out there that are kind of in the same boat, that have things um, in stock that they could uh, send out or uh, let customers or clients purchase from them, okay? And you, it doesn't mean you, don't, you need to open up and have a stream of people coming in, right? You can do drive-by, right? Put the stuff in bags, let people know, or ask people what they wanna purchase, run their card and then just hand them a bag, right? They don't have to get out. You don't have to have people streaming through. We don't have to, you know, break any whatever guidelines or rules or laws or whatever's going on. It doesn't have to be that. We can make it super easy. We can even deliver that sort of thing. So think outside the box. And if you can, you guys purchase from local stores, local retailers, local distributors, and support everybody um, in our community and in our town, which helps jobs and also helps businesses stay open. All right, you guys, happy Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.